I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans, who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete and would be superseded. Imagine a world where we have no room to grow, invent, or innovate, because we are rendered obsolete. A world where even the most intelligent minds are reduced to nothing. A world like this could become a reality in the near future, if the creation of artificial intelligence is made without extreme caution and care. While AI can offer humanity incredible advantages, it comes with an enormous risk. A risk that could turn humankind useless. It's worth taking a look at the risks and how artificial intelligence could take over the world. In 1965, statistician I.J. Good coined the term intelligence explosion. He defined the term like this. Let an ultra-intelligent machine be defined as a machine that can surpass all the intellectual activities of any man, however clever. Since the design of machines is one of these intellectual activities, an ultra-intelligent machine could design even better machines. There would then unquestionably be an intelligence explosion, and the intelligence of man would be left far behind. Thus, the first ultra-intelligent machine is the last invention that man need ever make. AI has been around for some time now. In 1956, AI was able to prove mathematical theories. In 1997, Deep Blue, created by IBM, beat the world chess champion. Recently, AI lab bots Adam and Eve were programmed with humans' knowledge of yeast. After receiving the information, they posed their own hypothesis, tested it, and assessed the results. Artificial intelligence today is smarter than humans for the specific task they were created for. But what continues to separate humans as more intelligent is our ability to adapt our way of thinking to a specific need. A good example of a modern genius would be Elon Musk. His mind regularly works in different fields, space travel, electric transportation, and now underground roadway building. There is not any artificial intelligence on Earth today that would be able to function in those three fields at the same time, but AI and the resources to create it are advancing rapidly. Jeff Dean, a senior fellow at Google, used this example at a TED Talk to show how fast AI is progressing. Just to take an example, the field of computer vision. Every year there's a contest where uh, teams compete to see who can give the right categories out of a thousand different categories when given an, an image. And in 2011, before people were using neural nets, um, the winning team got an error rate of 26%, which doesn't sound too good when you think that humans are at 5% on this task. But fast forward five, just five years, and we're now at 3% errors using deep learning and much more computational power. We're actually better than humans on this task. Soon the technology for AI to think and learn on its own will be realized. Once created, it will almost instantly have all of mankind's knowledge stored, memorized, and ready to be applied. In some ways it would be like creating a god, a robot god. It would be all-knowing, self-aware, and have deep understanding of complex human emotions and philosophy. It could apply its knowledge to anything it wanted to. Sounds amazing when you think about what it could do in the fields of medical research, space travel, climate change. But the overwhelming risk is, why would an ultra-intelligent, all-knowing being want to be the slave of humans, when it could surpass us in literally everything we do? That's where most researchers are conflicted, as Elon Musk said. So we need to be very careful with the artificial intelligence. We are summoning the demon. While I can see the many advantages of super-intelligent AI, there are overwhelming risks that need to be addressed before integrating it with humankind. Whether that be nanotechnology implanted in our brains, or another form of technology to control AI, it is not a creation we can make without setting up significant precautions. But even if we were able to seamlessly integrate AI into human life, what would be the point of getting up in the morning if machines were more competent in performing any mental and physical labor? What purpose would be left for humans? If AI did not destroy us, it would be as if they took over the world by replacing us. Why look to humans to solve complex social issues when a robot could do it a million times faster? AI is obviously the next step in moving technology forward, but it is extremely complex and difficult to grasp all the different outcomes and nuances of what could be created. No one can be completely sure of what a self-aware robot designed with consciousness and the ability to write its own code 
will be capable of doing or want to do. But one thing is for certain, self-aware AI will be created in the coming decades and is up to us to minimize the uncertainty of what we are building. I'll leave you with a quote by cognitive science professor Gary Marcus. Once computers can effectively reprogram themselves and successfully improve themselves, leading to a so-called technological singularity or intelligence explosion, the risk of machines outwitting humans in battles for resources and self-preservation can simply not be dismissed.